um, spending time with my family and seeing the cousins and being able to give out presents to the family and give Christmas ham. <laughs> but it's warm. The thing I like most about Christmas is getting back to Canberra, down to mum and dad, see the family. Just hanging out with my family and yeah, pretty much. Uh, I personally enjoy the time off being a teacher. Um, six weeks off for me, so it's kind of a relaxing time to, uh, to kick back, unwind, do a few things that I don't get to do through the year. Have a set of food, all the food. Love the present giving, getting together with family, everyone having a good time and a good laugh with a, over a beer. Um, chocolate. Um, family time. Uh, brings everyone together. Spend with my with my family and the partner. Yeah. Presents, obviously. Um, hanging out with family that I don't see all the time. Cousins and holidays. Some talent. Um, I think I answered that in the first question. I think uh, all the family coming together, you know, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that's the best thing. Um, I hope. I don't really need much this Christmas, probably just some clothes and maybe a few DVDs, not much. Um, this year I asked for speakers and sunglasses. A new pair of boots, definitely need a new pair of boots. Uh, this year, what do I hope for? Um, I don't really have a list created at the moment, so um, I tend to just go out and get my own things these days and then the parents just give me some money, so it kind of works well that way. I ordered a new watch from Panerai, so hopefully it comes by Christmas. Maybe fitness. Maybe a new pair of boots. I wouldn't mean the yacht, but buying out fat in my stocking, to be honest. Chocolate. Um, premiership with the Sharks. The worst thing, I think, uh, having to go around here, there and everywhere to, to see everyone, and there's a lot of Christmas parties, and events that you have to attend with work and things like that. So it becomes very time consuming. Although it is a great time of year, it can become full on at times. Worst thing about Christmas, there's no, nothing bad about Christmas. The abundance of family. <laughs> <laughs> having to buy his sister's presents. Having to buy his sister's presents. I normally have to drive to Penrith to hang out with my cousins and the drive isn't, isn't fun. Chocolate. The Christmas carols, for sure. Um, probably spending it in the the hot Australian heat, not having any snow, which is what Christmas is all about. All the weight you put on from the food. <laughs> it's expensive. <laughs> I get bullied because my name sounds like Christmas Day, Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! They don't. <laughs> See what I mean? The one thing, not See what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Christmas Eve uh, is usually at my grandparents' place, and then uh, on Christmas Day we're off to another relative's house, and uh, yeah, we just eat. A um, couple of beers on the beach. Well, now that we moved to Australia, we tend to go to the beach. The first time we came here, our first Christmas was on the beach, so that was interesting. A bit yeah. different. I used to go to Epping Pub on Christmas Eve um, each year, so that was more of a thing because I went to school at Epping, so uh, we used to go there every Christmas Eve, and on Christmas Day just do the normal family, uh, family lunch. So. Um, family lunch, um, usually chocolate stockings at mum and dad's. I think just gift giving, family all going around to either of the relatives' houses, to that end. Uh, no. Probably just going over to see family, really. Not much. And see my girlfriend on the day. Uh, we generally just do like a big Christmas lunch with my family. So far? Yeah. Can't really, can't remember. Maybe none. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, with all my cousins, we open our presents from youngest to oldest. And we also normally play a game of categories. Sometimes go down to Melbourne just as a family. That's about it. Socks and undies. Definitely. That's the worst. Couldn't tell you. 
probably receiving nothing. <laughs> probably just when I was younger, getting the undies and things like that. No one really wants them when you're young. Now, you die for them, but yeah, back then, not very good. The worst gift I've ever received is, uh... It's probably clothes that don't fit. I think uh, that they're the worst, especially when they are uh, top quality clothes. Probably a bag of coal when I was younger. I <laughs> <laughs> Bad perfume. Um, well, it was a long time ago, but I got um, some cereal off my grandma one year, which was pretty bloody horrible. <laughs> it was half eaten as well, so it was what it was what she didn't want. <laughs> Half eaten box of cereal. Okay. A ball pump. Socks and undies. <laughs> there's, there's a certain someone, family member, that uh, when I receive a present from them, it normally just goes in the wardrobe and there's just a big pile of it. So there's been a few, but I'm not going to mention any names. Probably receiving body wash, body wash or deodorant. Bit of an insult, but yeah, nothing besides that. Yeah, I'd suggest for to everyone who's buying gifts and clothes to keep receipts. <laughs> All of them? Or as many as I can? Oh my god. Um, dancer? Prancer? Um, Cupid? Comet? Blitzer? Is that one? Uh, Rudolph, obviously. Um, one more. Vixen? Is that one? Yeah. Something like that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Harry can and drug about, alright? <laughs> Hopefully I get himself all right. Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Rudolph, it's Comet. How many more do I need? Four more. Oh, three more. Three more. Rudolph, plus the other ones. <laughs> um, Rudolph, Dasher, Vixen. How many is it? Seven. Nine. Nine, shit. Rudolph. Is Dancer one? Yeah. Prancer. Did I say Vixen? Yeah. Um, Blitzen. Yeah. Oh, I don't know more. I'm... Did I say Vixen? Rudolph. Rudolph. Um, like Dash or something? <laughs> Dash Dasher? Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> How many have you got? Rudolph, Vixen, Dasher, Prancer. Oh, um, uh, oh that's about it. Is that four? <laughs> no. Dasher. Rudolph. <laughs> that's one. Uh, Dasher, Prancer. Ah, oh, it's like Dixon or something. Vixen. <laughs> I hope you're putting subtitles <laughs> in the bottom of this. Uh, I can tell you the rest as well. Oh, I think you've got me here, that's about it. Give it a go. <laughs> Rudolph. No, I can't. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's too easy. That's uh, Denim, Perry, Gordo, Litla. Um, here we got Casey. Jovo. De Silva, Callum, and I think Jack. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone all. Hope you're happy and well. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, go the Sharks. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs> happy Holidays. Uh, on behalf of Southern Sharks, we'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And have a happy and safe New Year. Um, just wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Southern Sharks. Merry Christmas. Uh, I'd like to say uh, Merry Christmas to everyone, stay safe and uh, have a good New Year. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, I'm Jobbo. Merry Christmas guys and Happy New Year. Okay, Merry Christmas and Happy and Safe New Year. On behalf of uh, Southern Sharks we wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year.